Okay, here's something I'm working on right now. I got this little uh, solenoid motor, and it's one of these whisper motors that you barely can hear it. And uh, I've mocked it out in wood with uh, the popsicle sticks and the base there. The uh, flywheel I 3D printed, but I'm in the process of trying to convert this into a 3D print. And I just wanted to show, uh, basically for my sister, how this tool, uh, the 3D printer and then the CAD designer, is going to convert that into a plastic 3D printed um, little desktop toy. And anyway, this is just running on energy in a capacitor, but it turned out to be pretty neat. It's a little uh, solenoid motor that um, might be kind of a fun cut this down to about like this shape here and then I may keep it with the wooden base and then uh, stain and varnish it and then have the main parts of it 3D printed in the um, plastic and then the little control part of it probably uh, make a little box to put this in with a way you can charge the super capacitor with a, with a battery pack so what I would do is I would charge it up with this and then have an on off switch so you could turn it on and and watch it run it runs for just a couple of minutes but it's it's kind of cute and fun the little a reed switch activated uh, solenoid motor barely makes any noise it's that one of those whisper solenoid motors anyway this is what i'm doing is i'm i'm taking the dimensions i'm um, measuring and then converting it into the 3d uh, CAD design then I'll print this out and um, you take these shapes here and you move them over here and convert them into the part that you want then you save it and then um, send it to the 3D printer and print it. I'll give an update on this it might be fun for some of the people to watch how I'm doing this that uh, really aren't familiar with this process and I'm in the learning process right now but it's a lot of fun. Thanks for watching.